Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and very warm welcome to my presentation of self-expression in the art of Mokohanga on the event of IMC 2021. Under the title Sumi Fusion, I am Shahida Mansoor from Pakistan. In this presentation, you will encounter my wordblock prints, also how they influenced my thoughts and experiences or vice versa. As you all know that the Japanese art of Mokohama, known for its use in artistic genre of ukiyo-e, is a unique and exquisite Japanese art form that developed during the Edo period, which is 1615 to 1868 in Japan. These pictures, which are actually prints and had a variety of subject matter, mainly scenes from nature, daily life and portraits of Kabuki players. Their beauty and charm is known in Pakistan, mainly in the context of their influence on European artists of 19th century and beyond. In the early period of my artistic career, my curiosity about Mokohanga, woodblock prints of Japan, was due to this very fact that in my country, Pakistan, little was known about the unique expression of its practitioners. But the overall influence of this art form on Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art of the, of the West. Every student of art becomes familiar with this aspect of ukiyo-e during studying art history of Europe. However, in Pakistan, a student of visual arts while studying printing never gets the chance to know the technique or practice of mokohanga. After finishing my master's in fine arts in Pakistan, in Islamabad, I joined the local artists of Punjab landscape movement and after some years of producing realistic styled landscapes, like you can see the oil painting on the right side of this slide, I had a desire to refocus the narrow vision of art in my country. But unlike most of the fellow artists, I have taken the neglected option of Japanese art. I came to Japan to study Mokohanga. I believe that by expanding an understanding of printmaking beyond European style of printmaking, I may have contributed to the evolving tradition of making creating art in my land. At the same time, my prints are instrumental in globalizing the art of Mokohanga through my own expression. As you can see on the left, three images above and one large image below. These are the prints that I produced during my stay in Japan. The bottom one is larger than one meter and it's in the permanent collection of Machida City Museum. Impressionism as well as the post-impressionist artists embraced the mysterious world of Japanese art as a tool of captivating memory. The imprinted impressions creating thus the fresh ways of communication and expression. As one can see in this example of iconic Japanese bridge incorporated in Monet's life and work. Similarly, Van Gogh on the right copied Hiroshige, the plum garden in Kamedo on the left, while searching for a freshness in his expression. However, my motivation to study Mokohanga was due to a very different reason. As I considered changing my medium from European style of oil painting to Japanese water-based woodblock printmaking in the new environment of a different cultural context, through the art of Mokohanga, I desired to develop an empathy with the oriental tradition of arts in my country as well as of larger Asia. As you know already, that as a colonized country, we have a checkered history of art. In this slide, one feels the close resemblance between my work and Behzad, 
even though my work is abstract. Now along the journey I discovered many similarities between the opposite mediums of miniature painting in Asia and Japanese woodblock prints in contrast to the tra traditional characteristics of Western art. These similarities inspired me further to reject the three-dimensional plasticity of European tradition of painting on canvas, one-point perspective and the use of chiaroscuro. All those qualities that were dominant feature of my paintings under the influence of my academic training and my senior artist colleagues with whom I worked before going to Japan. My encounter with Japanese woodblock print and as a result my renewed interest in my own traditions and arts is not terminus in the sense that I did not become a traditionalist in my own expression. In the case of my works that I have done during the period of my seven years stay in Japan and afterwards, I proclaim a kind of an oriental approach which is not that of a traditionalist but of a modernist. Interrelation of two traditions that I discovered in Japan and the technical skill that I achieved in one fueled my modern soul. My works are not a return to the bygone times. Similarly, they are without intention of bridging gaps between those two traditions. My carved in lines are free and uninhibited and thus stimulate the fantasy of the viewer to psychological gains beyond specific time and cultures. Here you see a comparison uh, between uh, uh, one work from uh, a nationalist artist, uh, Juktai, uh, from Pakistan, on the right side, uh, sorry, on the left, and uh, left is my print. The handmade paper, washi paper in case of Japan and the vasli in case of Pakistan and water-based colors in both the traditions are organic in nature. And I also discovered kind of a freedom in style in the form of idealization and exaggeration in compositions of artists of both the regions. The progressive use of a primitive method and my aesthetic attitude towards contemporary flavor along with the tradition. The earliest national artists of Pakistan, like Chutai and Fezi, have a softer lyrical expression. Similarly, an air of dreaminess and almost unreality of the fleeting, floating world of Ukiyo-e inspired me. And parallel in my mind, as a result, a poetic content started emerging in my prints too. My aesthetic attitude developed with a contemporary flavor with the along with the tradition the combination of intended with the unintended or accidental marks caused by a freer use of knife during the process of cutting the block of industrial plywood instead of solid cherry wood and progressive use of a primitive method of printmaking that suits to my personal as well as to the contemporary aesthetic values that i have become familiar with during my stay in Japan. My works grew in size, stretching several feet and beyond any tradition of whether Mokohanga or miniature art of my region. Therefore, one cannot expect a lavishness in the technical sense in my work. Further, uh, innovative use of non-conventional printing disc called Baren uh, helps me reconcile absolute freedom in composition with surprise element of printed effects. To conclude, the arts of both of these traditions were based on feeling them on logic and the liberating aspect of Mokuhanga in case of my works has also helped me embrace personal self-expression that contributes in contemporary arts of Pakistan while remolding the medium of Japanese art of Mokuhanga at the same time. Just like the uniqueness of each moment or aspect of life or situation in life cannot be replicated, so my intention of making Mokohanga is not anymore to make duplicate prints of an image, but to use this medium as an expression of my physical involvement 
with the material. The process of thinking beyond the images while making has played an important role in my work also in the past. And as a result, certain ambiguity in pattern and form, which almost trembles on the edge of abstraction and representation, is achieved, which connects my work in a strange way to both the traditions of larger Asia, although, unlike the traditional arts of Asia, I have no decorative intent behind my art practice. Water-based technique of Mokuhanga lends a unique charm and pleasure in comparison to European oil-based printing. Unpredictable nature of process, which is mainly guided by intuition, helps one focus on the true nature of the materials involved. An aesthetic awareness of the beauty of material is achieved almost unconsciously as one goes through the entire process of cutting the block, inking the block, and finally printing from the block to the paper. As I continued practice of Mokohanga beyond tradition and geographical borders of Japan, I had to face some problems of non-availability of high-quality actual materials in Pakistan. By focusing on the true nature of found materials and tools in my present environment in my studio in Islamabad, non-availability of actual materials could not stop me from moving forward to achieve a personal expression. Rather, the new unconventional materials have, and tools have played their own role in enhancing my personal expression. The basic ingredient, uh, Koso paper, has to be replaced by a recycled paper and the use of Sumi ink has become minimal too in my works. Use of original baran is reduced due to, its non to the non-availability of organic upper cover which gets damaged too quickly and cannot be repaired easily here in Pakistan. Being truthful to the moment, as the main lesson learned from Mokohanga practice, as there is no effort on my part to hide the marks of gouges and knives during cutting process, similarly solidly printed large areas of colors are becoming minimal too in favor of an increased use of gradation in inked area. This is a strategic solution to the scarcity of Sumi and not very promising behavior of the recycled paper during printing. Here you see a comparison of an old and the new work. Um, richness of black in Sumi ink and, and the tactile quality of handmade paper when replaced by locally available materials, it suffers a bit and a few adjustments had to be made. Conventional baran is replaced by rattan tea coasters very often and it is preferred over the baru baran to print a rough grain of the wood even more strongly. Good quality shina plywood had to be replaced with much lower quality of plywood which is locally available and one can imagine that uh, water-based ink uh, can even shorten the life of a bad quality wood block and as a result the large number of edition making becomes impossible. Spontaneity more than repetition and the use of larger unprinted area than the printed one with a minimal solid color is the key to the solution of enhanced expression in face of those technical problems. As for the subject matter of my works, the frequent inclusion of the facial mask in my 36 views of Islamabad in my new series of prints from studio in Islamabad can be a source of visual pleasure like the peaks of Mount Fuji in the tradition of Ukiwe, print artist beyond the borders of Japan. Similarly, the Buddhist uh, relics of stupas from suburbs of Islamabad can aid my personal expression of peace, order and humanity, triumphant over all chaos that surrounds us in present times. I thank everyone for patiently listening to my presentation. Thank you very much and uh, I'm looking forward to any questions from the audience, please.